author Anna Funder has won this year's Miles Franklin Award. She took out Australia's most prestigious literary prize with her novel All That I Am. I spoke to her via webcam in the UK and she used the interview to criticise the Queensland Premier Campbell Newman for scrapping that state's literary prize. Anna Funder also told me what a thrill it was to be named alongside some of Australia's greatest authors. It's pretty special. I mean, it's been going a very long time and Miles Franklin scrimped and saved her money to establish it. And what it's done is really create a long list of fantastic Australian work and just to sort of have your name scratched on the same fence post is, is really thrilling. You're half a world away on a promotional tour over there in the UK. How did it feel picking up this prestigious Australian Literary Award in the UK? Well, my time here in the UK, it was this morning, so the announcement was the Australian evening time. And I have to say, I had a kind of nervous breakfast by myself, and then I just went back to the room instead of going into a session, because I thought, well, I'm going to get a call, I don't know whether it's going to be good or bad. And I bought a couple of books and about four newspapers, because I thought, I might have to just lick my wounds here all day. So I was very, I was more excited than I admitted, I think. These awards were handed out in Brisbane last night, our time. Of course, the new Premier there, Campbell Newman, has scrapped the Premier's literary prize there as a cost-cutting exercise. What do you think about that? Was, was that a short-sighted move? Yes, it's a shocking move. I mean, he, the awards cost about $250,000 to put on, and which is the cost of, I think, one IT consultant that his government might employ for a, a year. And actually, although they're called the Premier's Literary Awards, I don't really think that they're the Premier's to scrap. I mean, it's the people's money, and the people want to have this recognition of the writers who reflect their world back to them. So I think it's an odd thing. I mean, I have spent my professional life studying totalitarian regimes and the brave people who speak out against them. And the first thing that someone with uh, dictatorial inclinations does is to silence the writers and the journalists. I don't think Campbell Newman is doing that. I think he's dog-whistling to people who want to see uh, so-called left-wingers silenced or something. But I don't think writing is particularly political in a left-wing or right-wing way, and I think it's a shame for Queensland and a shame for Australia. Miles Franklin, winner Anna Funder, with a not-so-gentle slap at Campbell Newman there at the end. But a very good win for her. She's in exalted company, as she mentioned. Patrick White, Tim Winton. Tim Winton, I think, has won the Miles Franklin four times that he never won it for his first novel. Oh, it's, it's fantastic. Only her, her second book, but her first novel, her first foray into fiction. Yeah, and uh, she's got plenty more good works in her. You'll see a better, a full interview of that, uh, full version of that interview next hour. It's well worth watching because Anna Funder has lots of interesting, interesting things to say.